What is going on in New York City? Within only the past few days, multiple women have come forward sharing a similar story where they're just minding their own business, walking the street until a random man sucker punches them. You guys, I was literally just walking and a man came up and punched me in the face. Oh, I just got punched in the face. I literally just got punched by some man on the sidewalk. I just realized I was part of a group of women that got punched. This is just terrifying. Being a woman alone at night is scary enough, but now in New York City, being a woman alone during the day is scary. So a few days ago, a TikToker named Haley Kate shared this video right after a man came up to her and sucker punched her. Oh my God, it hurts so bad. I can't even talk. Literally, I fell to the ground and now this giant goose egg is forming and I'm like, Oh my god, it looks so crazy. I mean, damn, just look at the size of that thing. That guy must have hit her hard considering it looks like she's got a horn growing out of her forehead. It is scary. Just imagine minding your own business, going on a walk until a random guy comes up to you and punches you. Because that's what happened to Haley Kate. And it turns out a bunch of other women as well who have come forward after seeing that video. So the people in the comment section of her video were in disbelief because they were just questioning why would a random man go up to her and punch her? People were asking, what did you do for this guy to punch you? So she made a response and here's what she said. Okay, just want to give an update on on getting punched in the face. Yeah, I was just walking on the sidewalk and my head was down. I was like looking at my phone, just sending an email, but there was so much room on the sidewalk and like literally nobody was around. And I guess this man, I don't know if he punched me or if he owed me, I literally passed out. <laughs> so I don't really remember. I think he just was really mad that my head was down. He was walking a dog. So he took it upon himself to body check me and let me know to be conscious of my surroundings, which now I literally blacked out for a second but then i got up and he was screaming at me like screaming at me and i was just like scared so i literally just ran away i mean i get it i'm annoyed when people are glued on their phone and nearly bump into me when walking but that wasn't the case with her she said that there was a lot of room around her now following that video absolutely blowing up multiple other women have come forward sharing a similar story within the past few days there have been multiple women in new york city who've just been randomly punched by some guy now the people on haley's videos were flooding the comments saying okay you filmed the video but did you call the police and it turns out that the guy who punched her has been arrested. On Wednesday, March 27th, 40 year old Skaboki Stora was charged with assault in connection with a random Monday attack on Haley Kate. And get this, the same day that he was arrested, he was already set to appear in court for a previous arrest. And on top of that, it's reportedly his third arrest within the past six months. Now, whether or not this is the same guy who's been punching multiple other women is unknown, but just wait until I tell you more about this guy because it is crazy. So what I'm about to tell you next, I mean, I didn't believe myself at first. I had to read it a few times to make sure that what I'm seeing is real because you would not expect that a man who randomly goes up to a woman and punches her and potentially multiple other women as well in the past three years has run for mayor governor and city council imagine a guy like this being mayor of your city and that's not all he has to his resume he's also a rapper who's very interesting So I did some digging and found this guy's Instagram and honestly, after seeing the stuff that he posts on there, I'm not surprised. I mean, we should have seen this coming because his videos are weird. So we got this video here where Skaboki is following a woman, minding her own business, walking the streets of New York City and listening to some music. The video is just disturbing. He's recording this woman without a permission and is following her from behind. And then what makes it even worse is what he says to her. Slow down, what you in the rush for? What you in the rush for? Pay attention so you won't walk into people. Can you stop? Just slow down. I'm going You somewhere. almost walked through me. All right. I mean, why do you think she's walking fast to get away from you? Now, something I noticed in this video that is similar to the ones on TikTok were that some of the women reported being on their phone. I was just walking on the sidewalk and my head was down. I was like looking at my phone, just sending an email. And I was looking down and I was looking at my phone. So I was looking down at my phone, trying to figure out what direction was like the water bottle store. Well, in this video here, we see that the guy is losing his marbles because the woman here is walking while on her phone. Put the phone down so you could pay attention and not walk into nobody. Now, a typical for him to be worrying about this woman bumping into others when you have this video that he posted. No. The videos that this guy posts are very sus. He has so many videos on his Instagram of him recording random woman on the train. And the interactions that he has with them sends shivers down your spine. Hey, what's that on your face? Why you oh, got those? Pimple patches. Oh, Skabuki Marcus Garvey Grand Sounds. Uh -huh. Think he's trying to pull a light skin game. Uh -huh. Kabuki, 
Marcus Garvey Grandson. Vote for me for city council, all right? Get all this outfit you got. You put this all together. Okay, I'm Skabuki, Marcus Garvey Grandson. What about this? You design this? I mean, this is just gross. These ladies are on the train just trying to mind their own business, and this guy is just being a complete creep to them. I mean, recording them is one thing, but being a creep is a whole nother thing. Just look at the terror in her eyes. And in this video, you can see a woman slapped him because he followed her onto the train after she had previously complained to a cop about him harassing her. And the fact that this guy just proudly posts on his Instagram, like, what? And he's not just young woman that he's recording. Here's another video that I found where he goes up to three teenage girls. Hold up, hello, it's me. Hey brother, hey brother, hold up. Hold on, it's me, Skabuki, Marcus Garvey Grants. I see you with your white people. You don't wanna say hi, hold, hold on. Oh. Bro, what are you doing? You're a 40 year old man going up to random teenage girls and recording them and just being a whole bother. So Skaboki thinks he has some type of special privilege. He claims to be the grandson of Marcus Garvey, who was a Jamaican activist. Hey. Me, Skabuki, Marcus Garvey grandson. And because of this, he thinks the rules don't apply to him. No, I was, I was here yesterday. Does it matter? Today is a new day. You yeah. still have to go behind the line. I'm Skabuki, Marcus Garvey grandson. I'm, I'm Skabuki, Marcus Garvey grandson. What does, what does that mean? As you can see, this guy absolutely loses it when he sees women walking down the street and on their phone. Every time I go out my house in Harlem, it's like, it's always somebody bumping in me, man. Now, is Kaboki actually related to Marcus Garvey? I don't know. You can tell that something is seriously wrong with this guy. Hey, about a Democrat. You think you white. Yeah, you're a Democrat. You try to push me walking down the street like that white. I think that's special. I'm Marcus Garvey, grandson, yo. There is just so much hatred in him, and something is definitely not right in there. And honestly, after seeing these videos, I wouldn't be surprised if he's the same man who punched the other woman as well. Now, I can confirm that he is not the same man from the video that Jill Burke posted on February 8th, because the man who threw the bag at her face was arrested. But I don't know, this is crazy. Like I said, it's already scary enough being a woman alone at night. But now during the day too, punching a random woman on the street puts the cherry on top. But forget that fad. The guy's videos that he has on his Instagram, I mean, there is definitely something wrong with him. I really do hope he gets the help that he needs and doesn't cause harm to more people. Because if he's done this to at least one woman, potentially more, and it just thrown back onto the street without receiving any type of help, Who's to say he's not gonna do it again? Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. If you were both educated and entertained, please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, comment your thoughts about everything that's been going on because it is absolutely crazy and I wanna know what you think about all of this. Anyways, that's officially gonna do it. If you're a woman in New York City, be safe, check your surroundings, but until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace. Hey. Me, Skabuki, Marcus Garvey Grandson.